Hello and welcome to Wall Street Training's Advanced Excel for Data Analysis course. Wall Street Training provides financial modeling, valuation modeling, mergers and acquisitions, merger and leverage buyout modeling training to corporations as well as through public open room seminars and through self-study video-based learning. My name is Hamilton Lin, President and Founder of Wall Street Training and I will be an instructor throughout this course. My background is primarily in investment banking and mergers and acquisitions having worked at Goldman Sachs' Investment Bank and Research, Bank of America Securities' Mergers and Acquisitions Group, and several other boutique investment banks, again, all focused on M&A. I am a CFA charter holder as well as a CFA instructor. The goal of this Advanced Excel for Data Analysis course is to learn how to be effective and efficient in, when utilizing micro, Microsoft Excel for data analysis and to crunch large data dumps. This course will allow you to minimize as much manual labor as possible, saving time and performing more detailed analysis quicker. As usual, we'll be fairly keyboard and shortcut oriented, so please have our Wall Street Training Add-in Macro Toolbars installed and definitely change your background to gray. Now, I will admit, though, we will have to use the mouse for a fair amount of the functions that we will go through today, simply because a lot of the functions and the tools that we'll use in Excel are going to be mouse-driven as well as Excel keyboard-driven. This course does assume that clearly you have a basic knowledge of Excel and fundamental concepts in finance and valuation since the data that we will use in this course is going to be uh, centered on finance, but more importantly, that you have worked in Excel before, you know, the basics of how to create references and, and, and link between cells, etc. Prerequisites for this course, we would highly recommend that you have taken our basic financial modeling course to get comfortable with the Excel, but that is not required as those are two separately different topics. Some of the techniques that we will learn today include items such as pivot tables, sum ifs, sum if arrays, transpose, working with additional types of arrays, VLOOKUPs, subtotals, regression analysis, drop down boxes, data validation, how to automate row shading through conditional formatting, as well as a simple introduction to macros and creating reusable toolbars and buttons. In that case then, let's just hop right into our Excel file, the first tab, called number one, Dell Blank. Here we have a five-year daily price history from Dell downloaded straight from Yahoo or any other data source. And you'll notice here that we have our labels in row two as lowercase. Now, what if, what if your boss or somebody comes to you and says, and they want to be a pain in the butt and say, I would like all of these labels in column two to be uppercase. The last thing you should do is sit there and moan and complain and retype everything manually. Here's what I'd like you to do to start off. This is going to tee us up to get us comfortable and used to working in Excel for the rest of this particular module. In cell I2, in cell I2, I want you to say equals upper open parentheses. U-P-P-E-R. In I2, I want you to say equals upper open paren. Hit the home key to select cell A2 and hit enter. And now, what you have done is grab in that label in all uppercase. Then I want you to go to how many rows you have, how many count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So go to I2 again and go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight through, oops, through column O and hit me a control R. Again, select now I2, cell I2 to O2 and hit a control R and now you bring it all the way across. You should be very comfortable with control R by now. This is a copy paste to the right. In cell I3, your boss comes back to you and says, hey, this is great. You got me everything in uppercase. But guess what? I want everything in lowercase now. Now, before you smack your boss against their head, no worries. In cell I3, I want you to type in equals lower, L-O-W-E-R, open parentheses, select cell I2, so hit up arrow. And I3 say equals lower, equals lower, open print, up arrow to select I2, hit enter, and bring that cell I3 across to O3 as well, control R. And now you've made everything lowercase. But wait, your boss changes their mind once more. And now they say, I want proper casing, capitalized just the first, just the first letter, which is exactly how you had it before. Now, before you take that shotgun and that bazooka and blow that person to bits in I4, 